good morning guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here like i'm subscribe if you're not new what's up what's popping y'all it's currently y'all see that 5 46 a.m my flight left at 5 30. <laughs> let's talk about that i missed my flight i i just feel like it's not meant for me to do this but it's whatever your bitch, your girl, whatever the fuck you want to call me. I um, guess I'm going to go to the airport and try to figure this shit out. And yeah, like, I'm going to tell y'all location and everything and everything about my BBL, my surgery when I get there. But till then, we got to figure out how we getting on the flight, baby. I missed the flight. The fuck? Missed the whole flight. Shit is crazy. I'll see y'all when I get there. So this was the line for a TSA when I got to the airport. I was pissed the fuck off. Say hi to the vault. Hey, <laughs> I really miss my flight, y'all. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. All right, y'all. I'm at the airport finally after I didn't miss my fucking flight. And listen, hopefully, I'm on standby. Hopefully, I get on this flight. I'm going to talk to y'all when I get to my destination because I don't even know where I'm going. But I'm going to tell y'all. I'll tell y'all later. I'll tell y'all. Y'all, when I say if I don't get on this flight, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. But I should get on because they say it wasn't that full. And yeah, we can see though. We gonna see. I'm probably in Southwest. I've never flew Southwest, so I'll see how this goes. Oh my skin looks so pretty. <sighs> Guess what? I'm really finna get my body done. <laughs> I'm scared. I ain't even go cap. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm happy. I feel all type of fucking shit, but no, I'll be all right. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to my destination. First walk in, I'm sitting at the Rio. We first walk in, we got this mirror. Y'all not gonna see this stomach anymore. Y'all gonna see this. Y'all gonna see this ass fat real soon. They got a little closet area. Real nice, real nice. A safe. I'm gonna put my little money in there. This other mirror, this is the sink. Little blow dryer, ice thing over there. This is the bathroom. Another mirror. The sink, toilet, tub. Then we walk through this way. They got the little living area right here, table. And then the two beds. TV and fucking refrigerator. And that's it. Then it's a little view of nothing. Didn't really care to get a nice ass room. That's the outside. You know, the strip is right there. So yeah. So it's a hundred motherfucking degrees. I am currently walking to Walgreens to get a charger because guess what I did? Left my charger. <sighs> and the hotel I'm staying in, their little shop did not have no chargers, so. Gotta walk. 
this hot ass weather to get a motherfucking charge. When I say it's hot, hot, like I'm gonna go to the pool after this. Okay guys, it's 8.30. I'm about to leave out. I'm gonna go downstairs and play this casino game real quick. And then I'ma wait. I'ma go to my Uber and go to my prehab. Trying to make sure I ain't forget anything. And go to my prehab. So yeah, I'll talk to you when I get on my Uber. I'm gonna sell a lot of some crops. I'm telling y'all, I'm not getting dressed out here. I'm going. Well, let me see my bag. I'm not getting dressed. I'm not. It's no point. Okay, guys. I just left my pre-op. Pre-op went well. Bruh, let me tell y'all. I weigh 170 fucking five. I'm lit. Like, I lost hella weight hella quick. Pre-op went well. Surgery tomorrow. Yeah, so y'all know. Y'all know the vibes. Stay tuned for these videos. Pre-op went very well. Hot as fuck out here. But yeah, I will talk to y'all when I'm finna pay because I got to go get my money off. And they letting me. This is how nice they is. They letting me go get my money off because I didn't have my cash. Period. Okay, guys. I'm back in my room. I've been back in my room for quite some time but i was tired and hungry so let's talk about pre-op so basically my pre-op was at 9 30 this morning i went down there at 9 30 um they called me back in like 15 minutes um first they gave me my paperwork to fill out i had to fill out my paperwork and then they called me back and then she, I got undressed, she took my pictures. No, I got undressed, she measured me for my faja. So basically I tried on the faja. Um, she took my height and weight and then she took my pictures. Um, my height was five, one and a half. My weight is 175. So my BMI is 33, 132. One of those, I'm not too sure. You gotta search it up. But yeah, so that's what happened at pre-op. And then I paid. And then I got my little giddy bag. So I'm gonna show y'all what's in here. Um, the first thing they give you is like, basically it has your prescriptions in it. And then it has your pre-op and post-surgical instructions. So it tells you what you can and cannot do before surgery. So basically it's just telling me that don't eat after this time, and don't take no medicine, don't take these medicines, don't do that, all right. Then, this is post-op instructions. This is um, basically the same thing, telling me what to do after, don't sit down, all that good stuff. All my massage information, what I need to do for massages. Then they have like medications to avoid and then medications to get. That's all that's in the folder. Um, yeah, that's all that's in the folder. Then you have, well, I don't know if you're gonna have, but then I have three foams, lipo foams. They're so soft. They're softer than the ones I bought off Amazon, sadly. So I got three lipo foams. And that's like, that goes in your garment afterwards. Mind you, having the stuff that I bought, I got with my package, so I'm just like kind of irritated. So I got a urinal. I think that it's in there. Brand new aesthetic. Period. Um, I got a BBL pillow, booty pillow, whatever you want to call it. It's a little looks like it's got a little case. Yes, yeah, it's a new aesthetic. And 
is just for me to sit on because I can't sit on my butt, so I'll be like positioned in a certain way sitting on that. Then they gave me soaps. So this one, they said, use this in the morning right before surgery. Um, and I guess it's to like fight infections and all that stuff. So I'm gonna take a shower in the morning. By the way, I'm up at 7 a.m. So I'm gonna take a shower at like 6.30, 6, I don't know, 6 o'clock. So I'm gonna use that. And then they gave me Hibis Cleanse. Hibis Cleanse is like for after surgery. This is stuff that you use after to like help fight infections with antibacteria, soap or whatever. So that's it. And I was supposed to get an ad board, but I didn't get it. So I need to tell them that tomorrow. I forgot that I didn't get my ad board. So I need to tell them that tomorrow. And that was pretty much it. Pre-op went very smooth. It was cool. Tomorrow I will take my vision board. I didn't take my vision board today. Tomorrow I will take my vision board and I'll talk to my doctor, tell them what I want, what I don't want, da -da -da, all that stuff. Then I get surgery, so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching my video. That's the pretty much the end. That's it. Um, I'm gonna do a surgery Q and A after I drop all my little first days and all the shit. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Period. Right now, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Your girl is on the way. Like, help me get there. Help a small YouTuber get to her goals. Simple. But yeah, so I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Next time y'all see me, <laughs> my body's gonna be done. Mm, my body's gonna be done. <laughs> That's me being nervous. Bye, y'all. Bye.